Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create a responsive sidebar in React. First of all, we need to create a React app as I have already done. And the next thing is to open your terminal and run this command npm install react-bootstrap bootstrap this is for bootstrap installation in our app since we are going to use it okay and then we need to add a dependency uh, to our index.js file as a global file so we can actually use bootstrap documentation in all uh, in all components of our app let's import bootstrap just css bootstrap.main.css sorry save the changes okay the next thing is to create a components directory inside source directory so it can actually contains all our component files and then inside components we need to create a new file for our sidebar component. Let's create a new file. And this is going to be called responsive sidebar.js. Hit enter. Okay. Let's import our, oh, sorry. Let me modify this. It's backslash is extra. All right. Let's import React at first. And then our function expert default function then the name of the component which is responsive sidebar great and then our return okay uh, the next thing to do is to go to your browser and search for uh, react bootstrap sidebar so we uh, find a sidebar structure to wrap it in our components. Uh, let's go to this one. Click on it and all right. Scroll down to get what it has provided. All right. Well, there's a guide here and uh, there are HTML codes. All right, and the outcome is going to be, scroll down a little bit more, okay, sounds actually pretty cool. So let's uh, go back to the top and take the steps one by one. Uh, first of all, well, I have already created my React app, so I don't need this, but uh, let's copy this one, CDB React, we need to install it. Go to our app and open terminal. And paste this. Hit enter and wait until it is complete. Okay. The next thing to uh, let me clear this. The next thing to be installed is React Router DOM. Let's copy the link and paste it in the terminal. All right. I think we're done with, with the installations. So uh, let's take the okay uh, the next thing to do is our wrapper component we have to import this browser router in a wrapper component well in my case I'm going to wrap my sidebar component inside my uh, app.js so I have to import uh, this browser router over there uh, let me copy this go to my app.js Import it on the top, and then we need a router tag as well inside our return. Uh, let's put the router here. Okay. The next step is to implement our sidebar component. Let me zoom in. Great. Well, there are some imports, and then there's an arrow function. Uh, don't you worry, I'm going to tell you how to get rid of it. Uh, let's copy all of them at first. 
and then go to uh, your sidebar component paste the imports and you know uh, this case has used an error function but we have already declared our function so uh, we do not need this error function and we will paste anything inside in our own return all right let's go back here and copy the return body and paste it inside our return great okay the next thing is to wrap this component inside our app.js we need to add a tag inside the router tag so let's go ahead and do it my wrapper is app.js let me import the component on the top app first import responsive sidebar yeah and then we need a tag of the component inside our router Great. I think we're done. Let's run our app. Oh yeah, it's working very well. As you can see, the toggler uh, the toggler works, and uh, everything is great. As you can see, it's totally responsive. And let me uh, explain how things are working here a little bit. As you can see, there's a, a CDB uh, sidebar footer. And, uh, and the CDB sidebar header. Header is a, a part where the toggler and the title exist. And under the, under the header, uh, we have the footer where you can actually, where you can put a list, a couple of buttons, a couple of links or anything you like. You can actually customize it in, a, uh, in any way you like. And uh, this uh, footer and the header are wrapped in the parent tag, which is CDB sidebar. And that's all. You can uh, change it in a way you like. And I hope you learn how to create a responsive sidebar in React. And let me know if you had any questions. And thanks for watching.